As adults with ADHD, we often heard messages as children and those messages then became a tendency to self-criticize and to be filled with self-doubt. We are prone to self-criticism and to even reliving a negative social experience. Sometimes, someone just wrote me the other day and they said years later, they are struck by painful rumination. And this is a constant theme song taking up rent in our minds, these negative ruminations. But what if we could end this painful cycle and positively reframe these messages and to quote Taylor Swift, then forget that they existed. Oh, I love that. Hi, I'm Caroline McGuire, and I am here to talk about all things ADHD and friendship. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so comments like, why can't you just focus? Many children with ADHD struggle to sustain attention, particularly with tasks that don't immediately interest them. And these kinds of criticisms were sort of the theme song for many of our childhoods. Why don't you listen? Think before you speak. And this criticism can feel like an attack on our natural processing style and can lead many of us to feel that we're lazy and incompetent rather than recognizing that it's simply about how we process information differently. Stop being lazy or just try harder or things I would literally banish from the <laughs> vocabulary of every language if I could. This message implies that there are struggles that are due to a lack of effort rather than understanding that ADHD affects motivation and the brain's reward pathways. This can result in feelings of guilt and self-blame. And as a child or as an adult may already be putting in considerable effort without seeing results, it's really hard to hear these messages. You're so disorganized or you're a mess. Organization is frequently challenging for people with ADHD, affecting everything from our school assignments to keeping track of our personal belongings. I know that my room as a child was so messy that often we would take like everything off the floor, but everything was just like all over the floor at all times. And when they hear these comments, when you hear these comments, they can lead to low self-esteem and a sense of shame around our personal habits, even though ADHD often makes organization inherently more difficult. Comments like you're too sensitive or calm down. <sighs> okay, the irony here, that sends me to the edge which I get emotional dysregulation, that these comments are about emotional dysregulation. But I have to say, emotional dysregulation is common in ADHD. So reactions to feedback, stress, or frustration can be really intense. I always say it doesn't matter what the reaction should be, it's how you feel inside. Being told that we're overreacting or too emotional minimizes our experience and can make us feel really emotionally flawed and that we're unreasonably sensitive when in fact, I think our sensitivity can be sort of a superpower. You're not living up to your potential. Okay, I heard about my potential from like kindergarten to my early 20s and I feel like this is intended to motivate, but this message can actually be really demoralizing as it implies there's a level of success that someone should reach when it's in fact a personal thing and it feels inaccessible to people. I was super frustrated with myself and to give my parents credit, they seemed very chill about the whole thing. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy and a sense that you're inherently disappointing others. So all these phrases are super important. We say them and I would caution parents who are watching this, the more you can remove those phrases from your lexicon, the more kids can feel better about themselves. We understand from research that ADHD children hear about 20,000 negative messages by the age of 10. We also know there's a direct correlation between how much criticism you hear and your feelings of self-worth and your tendency to self-criticize. So I would encourage everyone to reframe those thoughts. And this is only part one. We're gonna talk about this in part two. I'll see you then. Bye friends. Thank you.